Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. Going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days. For today's video, day 10 will take us to the 12th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. So we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video uh, for the next four weeks. I want to again say thank you so much for all of the lovely, lovely comments and messages uh, that you've been sending about the uh, passing uh, of my uh, mum on Friday, Mrs. P. So, um, again, thank you so much. It's, it's a huge comfort to me and to, to my family. Um, you know, very, very, very kind uh, of all of you to be sending so many lovely messages. So, thank you so much, everybody, um, uh, for doing that. Mrs. P's funeral, funeral will be on the 17th of June. So, um, uh, yeah, I've got a little while to go, you know, before we get to the funeral. And um, and and so I'm going to keep like a daily video going up to the up to the 17th. So uh, or I'll try to anyway. Some days I might not do a video, but I'm going to try and do one video at least. Um, most days up to the uh, up to the funeral to keep myself busy and uh, keep myself occupied. But thank you so much, uh, you know, to all of you. Thank you so much. Incredibly kind. The Gas Rovers community is just absolutely amazing. Thank you, all of you. Uh, right, so we're going to have a look at sensory and temperature. This is the CT page at the uh, UK Met Office. So, sensory and temperature is the uh, oldest temperature record anywhere on Earth, going way back to 1659. That is the... Um, uh, the year of 1659, just there, and those are the monthly CT numbers uh, as well. Now, we've got May, uh, May CT in uh, for, uh, for this year, for 2022. Uh, we came out 13.1. But I think they've changed uh, things a little bit, tweaked things a little bit at the UK Met now, actually. So, uh, we shouldn't be getting the big downwards corrections at the end of the month that we used to get. You know, uh, the provisional number should be should now be very close. Most of the time, should now be very close to the to the final number, and and, and we see that there. But um, uh, that's around where it was provisionally a couple of days ago. So uh, we came out thirteen point one, not the warmest May on record. Actually, in recent years, we've had uh, warmer May's in uh, in um, 2017, 2018 at thirteen point three. Uh, we've also had a warmer May in 2008 at 13.4, and of course the uh, warmest May uh, in, in modern times anyway is um, back in uh, 1992, uh, where it came out 13.6. Uh, we also had uh, a, a warm May in 1998 at 13.1, so we, we're, we're equal with that number, 13.1 uh, by the look of it. And of course the warmest May uh, ever... Uh, it's actually, for CT anyway, it's actually a really, really long time ago, and I bet I won't be able to find it. There it is, eight, um, there it is. it's uh, 1833, where we came out 15.1. So it just goes to show how hot potentially, <laughs> how hot potentially May can be, but um, we haven't seen anything uh, anywhere near as hot as that since then. So in, in the modern era, 1992 is the warmest May on record. And, um, and, and that held, that has held, you know, for, for another year. Right, so uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, one at Birmingham today, so red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. We're starting off a little bit below average at the moment, but we'll see those upper air temperatures lifting up over the weekend. It's going to get warmer over the weekend and uh, reasonably warm into next week uh, as well. But I think the main thing, um, rather than temperature is precipitation so it does look much more unsettled doesn't it over the next couple of weeks lots and lots of precipitation spikes from start to finish on the ensemble graph actually um particularly like around the um the around the fifth six so so like um sunday and uh, uh to monday i think we've got some big thunderstorms around uh then uh, as well so plenty of precipitation come warm and wet good growing weather the grass will be going crazy as will the weeds uh over the next week or two Temperature anomalies from the 2nd to 10th of June are going to be a little bit below average for England and Wales, a little bit above average for Scotland and for Northern Ireland. Precipitation anomalies from the 2nd to 10th of June are going to be driving average in the northern half of the country and average a little bit west than average uh, further southwards. The latest wind from map from Earth, Nordschool.net, shows that there's quite a bit of low pressure in the Atlantic, so I suppose this is the reason 
Uh, we are going into a more unsettled pair. We've got low pressure off the coast of Portugal. We've got a low to west of Scotland. There's another deep low around Newfoundland. So the Atlantic does look quite active, doesn't it? Um, I think it's particularly this low uh, off the coast of Portugal that will increase the temperature, but will push up some warmer air, but will also potentially bring some wet weather into more southern parts of the country. Right, so this is how the uh, Lace UK Mate Euro run is looking for midnight on fr on uh, Sunday, where we've got high pressure more or less in control across the northern half of the country, but it's fundamentally low. It's trying to push up from uh, France. Pressure just generally weakens as this trough comes northwards uh, from Sunday to Monday. Um, so that suggests that there will be risk of heavy showers and thunderstorms maybe breaking out Saturday night through Sunday and possibly lasting into Monday as well. Looks like we're under a shallow trough on Tuesday uh, next week. And as we go into the middle of the week, more low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. So looking rather changeable, doesn't it? Rather changeable through the first sort of 10 days. Um, oh, sorry, I know Terry Scully, uh is uh, is forecasting quite a mixed summer. If you haven't seen Terry's forecast yet, uh, check that out. It's, uh, it's on the channel. I, I uploaded it yesterday. Um, so check out Terry's forecast for summer. 2022 and uh, Terry is going for quite a mix uh, quite a mixed summer actually but uh, often quite warm but also quite thundery and, and often quite wet so maybe this uh, next few days kind of set the scene for what we're going to see quite a bit of over this summer so Icon is looking for midnight on sunny high pressure again is uh, controlling the weather then, but this fungi low pushes up from France, bringing increased risk of thunderstorms across England and Wales in particular, the lowest area in the North Sea. The time get through the midnight on Tuesday, and showers along Spurs, Maine, and there could be some thunder mix in. And uh, right way up to like midday on Thursday, we've got low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure then. It's sitting over to the east of the country, that's pulling up these warm southerly winds. Actually, I can't look like it's quite hot through the course of next week, potentially. Um, that could rise up as well, get, get the temperature into the uh, mid to upper 20 Celsius then. Uh, GFS Midnight Run looks like that. So, again, got this fungi low flirting with south uh, as we go from uh, into the weekend, Sunday. And that pushes northward through Sunday, bringing heavy showers, maybe some first storms with it as well. Oh, next week, we try and get a little bit of a ridge um, going with the midnight GFS run, but uh, low pressure never far away, bringing further changeable conditions. Number is tries to build there around um, day 10, that's Sunday 12th of June, but that one again doesn't really come off as more low pressure starts to roll in. Then it turns very unsettled in the extended, but of course, this is the unreliable time frame, but it does turn really quite unsettled bring plenty of uh, low pressure in off the Atlantic. Again, I'm not sure about that. It's a very long way off, and um, you know, I won't be overly concerned about that. But the GFS midnight run, you know, return things properly unsettled. Um, then we go through into the uh, GFS 6 there. Again, low pressure coming northwards over the weekend, bringing heavy showers or thunderstorms uh, with it. And uh, as we go through into uh, the middle part of next week, Quite a bit of a battle going on, low pressure trying to get in from off the Atlantic, but high pressure is still away to our north and northeast trying to block, block progress. But it looks pretty unsettled, I think, a lot of the time through next week. That's day 10, which is certainly the 12th of June. Again, we've got a ridge to our east, a trough to our west, a drawing up a warm or a very warm southerly or south easy throw, but it looks quite volatile that. If there are showers along the spells of rain, it could be showing it to be quite an unsettled June, actually. I think watching here, it might be quite warm, but it could be quite, quite a wet June. Could be on the way, or certainly the first half to it, anyway. There's no definitive sort of build of pressure, it's going to last for several days. That's how the MB um, GFS, uh, it's not, that's how the MB uh, GFS 6 there. Uh, then again, it is, it, is, it is low pressure that is in the ascendancy there. GM again with high pressure to our north and this fungi low trying to push up from France uh, on, on Sunday, and then that lows over the top of the country by midnight on Monday. More low pressure coming in off the Atlantic through the middle part of next week. Uh, we'll bring on said weather to the northwest, but in the south, this ridge probably keeps it relatively dry and, and quite warm too. And all the way up to day 10, the GM is also looking pretty mixed and pretty changeable. And then uh, East MWF rounds it all off again. This fungi low coming northwards um, over the weekend. Particularly, I think, like Saturday night through Sunday could bring some Big thunderstorms for parts of the country. And next week, you try to get this little ridge going to south. That turns it warmer and drier there, but low pressure out to the northwest, bringing more wind and rain at times. 
and as we get towards um, uh, day 10, we start, we find we start to pull up some hotter air from the south, yes, but also looking quite unsettled, quite volatile, finishing up like that by day 10. Another ridge trying to get going, but I think that ridge also would be pushed away by this area of low pressure uh, that's out in the Atlantic. I think that would get rid of this uh, ridge relatively quickly. So do ridge is coming and going, giving me on warmer, drier day, but generally I think the outlook in the first half of June is shaping up to be rather unsettled. Probably quite warm, yes, no problems with temperatures, but rather unsettled with heavy showers, thunderstorms, and maybe at times even some longer spells rain, particularly in the northwest. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibetio.com. So here come the storms over the weekend. They're pushing up from the south, bringing uh, particularly like um, Sunday, on Sunday bringing some, some really quite uh, heavy rain and and, uh, and downpours and whatnot. And into the early part of next week, those storms clear away and things get a little bit drier before more wet and windy weather gets into the north and west later on through the middle and second half of the week. And then uh, another batch of wet weather um, around the 10th of June. That looks like it's heavy and persistent sort of rain and uh, further rain threatened to the west by day 10. We are under that little ridge, but I think that's temporary. It's wet weather out in the Atlantic. I think that's got our name on it. Means there'll be options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10, which gets us to the 12th of June from the Atlantic Met Office. 23 members of the ECM ensemble have low pressure in of the Atlantic, so looking unsettled with those. It's majority option two, looking unsettled with uh, with uh, spells of, uh, of rain. 16 members of the East Islands with low pressure away to the west, high pressure trying to hold on to the east. Um, that probably that low probably flattens off the ridge though. And then 12 ha actually has us under an area of high pressure, so that will bring a lot of dry uh, and quite um, quite warm weather with it. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. We'll get us to the 17th of June, 21 members of the East Island Songs have a low pressure over. So like to the west of coast, that could be very unsettled, of course. 16 have us under high pressure, though. And then 14 have below pressure to the south and also away to the northwest. High pressure to the south, I the northwest, I should say, and probably some sort of trough coming through here. So that's a little bit in betwixt, in between. I think this could be quite an unsettled first half to June, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, CFS V2 lastly, so these are 500 millibar height anomalies broken down into weekly periods. The first week period is going to take us from the 2nd to the 8th of June. The uh, coming week will have a ridge of high pressure through the coast. There should be a lot of dry weather uh, with it. Lower pressure will be out to the west uh, and to south southwest. So that that high pressure, I say it brings a lot of dry weather, but the high pressure is actually being broken. You see what I mean by the by the lows to both west and also to the south. So over time, it actually transitions into something more unsettled. Week week two is the 9th to the 15th of June, with high pressure away to our east. Low pressure is out to the west. I'll be drawing up like a southerly wind. So it is warm, but that low pressure again will bring the risk of heavy rain, maybe thunderstorms into western areas. Week three, very similar sort of pattern. 16th, 22nd of June, again, high pressure is over Scandinavia and away to our east, low pressure just to our west. So wind direction is going to be southerly. It will be quite warm. But again, the low pressure probably providing unsettled conditions. And then a bit of a change by the time you get through to week four, which is the 23rd to 29th of June. So high pressure then sort of pulls away to our west. Um, so there's no particularly evident trough of low, but I would imagine there's probably going to be a trough through here. And a dip in the jet stream would be likely. Um, that turns cooler probably and, and more unsettled with that mid-Atlantic ridge. Now certain turns cooler and stays unsettled. Right, so uh, we've done many. If you've enjoyed this video, then please can you uh, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gas Webbers. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much for doing that for us. Okay, we're done. We're going to be back tomorrow with another 10 to 14 day. So I shall see you uh, that. Of course, it's um, Jubilee weekend. So tomorrow is actually uh, the Jubilee day. So I think what I might do is have a look at some charts from. Uh, from from the coronation, actually, I thought that would be something quite nice to do on Jubilee Day. So uh, we might have a look at a couple of charts from um, what will it be, the third of June, nineteen fifty-two. Um, so that be at the start of tomorrow's video, but we'll do a ten to fourteen day uh, included with that as well. So for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.